In this tutorial we're gonna make a very basic flash game from scratch. There are a lot of design options such as how to structure our code uh, but we're just gonna ignore all that for now and do whatever it takes to get a game up and running as simply and quickly as possible. Uh, this is what the final product will look like here. And the bounces here keeps track of how many times you've bounced it and here's your high score and you click on it to bounce it up. Uh, obviously if, if this is too basic and uh, you're looking for something more advanced then you probably want to take a look at the advanced game programming tutorials instead. But for this let's begin by creating a new flash, flash document here. I'll specify the class name as document class file name as document main. Now of course you can name it whatever you like but I just like to name it document main. Here we get a warning that um, there's no such file that was found in the working directory or the class path. Um, that's okay because we're going to make that right now. Uh, control N for new action script file down here. And let's just type up a quick um, shell, I guess, just empty template of a class definition. We want to import the movie clip and uh, keep in mind this has to be the same name that we specified over here. And it can either extend movie clip or sprite, but it has to be one of those two. And here's our constructor. And we'll keep everything empty for now. So let's go ahead and save everything. First we save this as whatever project. And make sure when you're uh, saving this class file, class definition file, uh, you name it document main. Um, and also make sure you, it's in the same folder that your um, flash file, project file is in, obviously. Okay, let's uh, control enter to test to make sure everything's working okay. A blank screen, uh, no errors, so that's good. All right, next, uh, let's create all our stage assets. First, we want the labels up here. Um, let's change the color. So now we have both our labels and we also want to create a dynamic text field to actually house the score number. So come over here to properties and select dynamic text for that. And we want to give it an instance name. We'll name it underscore bounces. Of course, you can name it whatever you like. Over here in the high score, same thing. Um, we'll just create as, set the default value to be zero. And then instance name here will be high score. And we want to make sure it's large enough to hold at least several digits. And let's left, let's, uh, left justify it. Okay, so that's set. Uh, we'll create our final stage asset, which is going to be just a ball. Uh, wow. Create a circle, and let's make it 100 by 100 
in size. And you want to right click in here and convert it to a symbol so we can uh, give it a name and communicate with it using code. And we'll name it ball. Make sure this is checked to export for action script. And this also enables us to, um, well, it, it creates, um, it creates an uh, action script file um, to define this class, this ball class, but which hasn't been created for us yet, so it can't find it. Um, it. If it still can't find it during the compile time, then it'll create it for us. All right, so we have our ball. We'll name it underscore ball, just to make everything easy to keep track of. So we have. Um, our dynamic text fields, our static text labels, static text, and then we have our movie clip ball. And we'll just place it right here. Save, control S, control enter to see if everything's working okay. All right, um, I should probably raise these. Now we want to actually write up the code that will make things move and interactive. So go back to document main. In our main um, class definition, first of all, we want to come up here and uh, declare our variables. Uh, it's our, these variables that we're about to use. We want to just go ahead and um, write them out here public and make sure it's public because it's created on the stage it has to be public uh, we had a uh, public bounces and that was of type text field um, we also had a public text field named high score and finally we also had a ball of type all right, save, run, make sure everything's still working OK, which it's not. Ah, text field, we have to include that here, or import flash.text.text field. And OK, now it's working OK. All right, so here in the constructor, um, this constructor is run at the beginning of our program. so. This is basically the beginning that defines what will happen when our uh, Swift file, or when our movie first runs. And we want that to be, um, OK, first, uh, we want to add event listeners. This particular one um, will call enter frame handler. That's just a name you give it. Every every time we enter a frame, uh, and we have to create that function now. It passes in an uh, event object attribute uh, parameter, and it will return nothing. And also, we're gonna need to detect mouse clicks. So let's have. Uh, mouse down handler, and that's actually going to be a mouse event. And it's called mouse down. And for these two events, we have to import flash dot events dot event and events dot mouse event. we enter the frame uh, what we want to have happen is first we need to gravitate the ball 